What's up guys, Tom the Casual Cutter, and this is the full video showcasing 18 uh, pieces, 17 knives, one uh, pry bar that is available uh, for sale. And that sale is going to go up on my Instagram on Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern, that's uh, 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, I'm gonna have a post up with all of these knives listed with pricing. And uh, it's going to basically be, you know, first come, first serve uh, in the comments. Speak for what you want. But this video, this purpose of this video is to show you in detail each of these knives so you can know what you're, you know, know what you're going after, uh, see the condition and all that. Get all those details here. So the very first knife is the Urban EDC Supply F5.5. This is the titanium uh, version in LMAX. This knife is like new in box. Uh, it's never been cut or carried. I'm going to try to uh, try to keep this video at about 30 minutes if I can. Uh, so here you have the box, the pouch. Inside the pouch you have their little COA, I guess. And then you have the knife. There you go. Titanium scales. It is the LMAX blade. This is new. Never cut or carried. Nice knife. Great action. Again, the F5.5. All right. So that's number one. Number two is the Spartan Blades. Model is the Palace in S35VN. We have two of these, one in S35, one in S45. Uh, let's see, this is the S35VN right there. This is a aluminum frame button lock. Uh, this has a flipper delete, is what I've been told. Um, this is a flipper delete by, the, uh, by AR Knife Mods, okay? So that's this one, button lock, great action. Flips open, drop shut. Spidey flick it. Doesn't seem to be any discernible uh, lock stick, which can be a problem with button locks. This thing's super, super smooth. Again, excellent condition. Take a look at the blade. Perfect edge. A plus. There we go. That is the Spartan Palace and S35 VM Flipper Delete by AR Knife Mods. Next, we have another Palace. This one is S45. Oh no, this is a Harsey. What is this? What is this? Spartan Harsey Palace. So, this is a different knife. Okay. Well, you can tell these aren't mine, guys. It looks like the same knife, though. Is, is Harsey the is Harsey the designer? I have no idea. We'll figure it out though. So this one here is an S45 VN. There you go. This one also has a flipper delete. Uh, this one was done by the previous owner. So there's that. Again, excellent action. All right. Looks good, looks good. So that's the S45 VN there. I'm trying to keep all these packages 
together because uh, I'm going to have to take a group shot of these things for the listing. Next on the list is the A. Purvis Zerks. I believe that's what this is called. Really nice knife, guys. This thing is titanium. Awesome action. Comes in the box and the pouch. Packaging in there. You can see it's got great milled TI scales and lock side. Blue pivot collar. Yeah, this thing. I think this is on, yeah, this is on bearings. Super snappy action. This is the Zerks by A. Purvis. I believe the uh, OEM on this is Beztech. Again, this is uh, never cut or carried. Perfect edge. Like new in box. CPM 20 CV. It's numbered 25 out of 240. Wow. So there you go. A Purvis Zerks. We like new in box. Next up, we have one that I think uh, a lot of people are very happy with. Recently came out. BBM. Is it BBM? BBK, Brian Brown Raptor. Let's see. All right. There's the Raptor. This has got an awesome grind. Again, perfect condition. A little smudge on the blade, but great action on this snappy thumb stud deployment. This thing is like new, guys. So, let's see if it gets bitey flick it. Oh, yeah. There it is, Brian Brown Raptor. That one's going to be on the block. Perfect shape. Perfect action. Good to go. Then we have the controversial but awesome Microtech SOCOM Bravo. Open this up. Box. Literature. Ooh, there it is. This thing is awesome. Carbon fiber. Titanium. Blue accents there. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, uh, this is a big knife. This is a nice knife. Again, it is like new in box, never been carried. M390. Right, guys. Most of these knives they just sat in uh, in his collection because he's got way too many knives to uh, to carry them all, I guess. So that is the SoCom Bravo, like new in box. All right, moving on, we have something that is. Uh, Pretty crazy. So this is a uh, Millet Torrent. Millet is the, the maker. Torrent is the model. And this is a one of one. Uh, they only made this knife. There it is right there. Custom one of one. Damasteel rose pattern. Uh, Tamascus backspacer. Titanium frame. And uh, cup. Titanium overlay back. It's got a bunch of bunch of stuff going on. 
So let's just take a look at it. So here we go. The model is Torrent. Oh, so this is a Timascus lock side. So that whole piece is Timascus. The show scale is mill titanium. And the blade is that uh, rose pattern Damascus. This thing's got a lot going on, guys. Oh, Damascus back. Yeah, so this, this whole lock side is Damascus. This thing's crazy. All right, so that is the Millet Torrent one of one custom. Brand new in box. There it is. Beautiful knife. All right. Put this away so I don't lose anything. And next up, we have. A Vero Engineering <clears throat> Impulse. This is the second run of the Impulse M390 with a belt satin blade. Raw TI scales, purple hardware, purple, 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 purple. There's the COA. And here's the knife. Purple hardware, raw titanium handles, and belt satin blade. Now there's some smudges on here. Let's see if I have a towel. Get off the smudges. Okay. Can you see that? A plus plus, A plus plus. Awesome Tonto blade. This is the full size impulse. This is not the uh, impulse mini. So this is the big one. Has that nice notch on the back side so you can spidey flick very nice all right that is the vero impulse next we have monterey bay knives what is this one this one is the turbo yeah mbk Turbo. So it is murdered out. Black scales, black backspacer, black blade, black clip, black everything. Murdered out. And this one has been sharpened and it has a mirror edge. Okay. Can you see it? mirror edge on this guy and uh it's got a little bit of dlc the tiniest bit of dlc on the tip there where the uh the edge came up and it looks like it just rolled over just a tiny bit but it's barely noticeable but it is there other side of the edge this is a very nice knife. It's a liner lock with titanium scales. So you can see it's got that nested liner in there. Phenomenal action, drop shut. Let's get past the detent. All right, so that's the MBK Turbo. There you go. Next up, 
we have the Oxworks. What is this thing called? This is the Oxworks Osprey. In the box, in the pouch, in the wrapper. Now this thing, from what he told me, has been custom anodized in a bronze purple combo, which is pretty nice. It's got the carbon fiber inlays as well. And a satin blade, as you can see, M390. And again, this is a knife that was never used. Factory edge, immaculate, same as new. Nice snappy action. Custom Anno there. Very nice knife. All right. So that's the uh, the Osprey by Ox Works. Okay, now we're getting into some big ones. You guys know Hinderer, yeah? This is an XM18. 3.5 fatty triway Warncliffe. Now this knife originally came with a jade scale on the show side, but uh, this one was swapped out for a red G10. So this has got the working finish on the, the uh, lock side and the blade. Uh, red G10 scale that was swapped for the G10 that came on it originally. This is a very, very, very nice knife. This has a fantastic detent. Sometimes the hinders can have a light detent. This is perfect. Perfect for flipping and using the thumb studs or stop pins. And uh, wicked, wicked Warncliffe blade. This one might have been lightly used by the original owner before my buddy got it but i mean look at the edge it's it's factory sharp yeah this one is very nice and this is the fatty which is designated right there on the flipper tab fatty with uh the Triway logo right there. So this one, uh, is this one on skips? This one might be on skiff bearings, uh, but it does have, let's see. I'll have to double check. I'll put that in the ad on Instagram, but it does have the uh, poly washers and the bronze washers there. Uh, I'll double check and I'll find that out if it's on skips or not. But very smooth action. Uh, very good detent. This is the Warncliffe Fatty Hinderer XM18. There we go. Moving on. Another Hinderer. Yep. This one is a Eclipse 3.5 inch Harpoon Tonto Triway in Battle Blue and black g10 so this is the i guess the newest generation eclipse there are the washers which means it is currently riding on bearings this thing is mint mint like new in box black g10 but look at that that battle blue beautiful it's got the uh Working finish on the blade, not the, the bright stone wash, but the worker finish. Take a look. 
It is like new in box. Super sweet. Tempted to keep this one, but these are not my knives. So, very, very nice. <clears throat> 20 CV. If you're looking for a first hinderer and you want something that is a little bit, I don't know. A little bit less jimpy. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I had an alarm go off for work because I have a meeting in 10 minutes. So yeah, what I was saying is if uh, if you don't like the jimpiness of the XN18 with all that jimping on it, uh, yeah, the Eclipse is a smoother option. Very nice knife. Basically brand new in box, only taken out to uh, to handle. Maybe take a picture or two. This thing is... Very nice. All right, so that's the Eclipse Triway. Next up, we have controversial Hoback Sumo DLC Black Finish CPM 20 CV Blade Steel Purple Anodized Accents. This thing is new in box. That's your little Sumo PVC patch, your toolkit, your commitment to quality letter. And uh, here is the Sumo. DLC black, nicely done. Purple clip, backspacer, hardware, and thumb studs. And it's got the satin blade. Now this is also a button lock, and I have to tell you, it is probably the smoothest button lock I've felt. Uh, yeah, so this thing's got three different forms of deployment, if you're not uh, used to it, or if you haven't seen it before. Actually, four, four ways to deploy it. So you have these uh, thumb studs, I guess if you want to call them, that you can flick open. You have these grooves here in the blade that you can spidey flick very nicely or use to open with your thumb. You could also spidey flick the thumb stud, but the uh, the cutout works better. Then you have this tiny little flipper tab here, which actually works. Okay, it's kind of weird, but it works. And then you have just the button lock that you could use to deploy the knife. So these are cool. I'm glad that I actually got a chance to handle this despite the controversy controversy behind these knives. Uh, yeah. So safe to say the OEM is a uh, Chinese manufacturer. Who knows it's, uh, if it's Beztech or Riot or We or whatever. I think it's, it looks like, a, uh, looks like a Beztech OEM job to me. Work thumb, work. So that is the Sumo by Hobeck. Brand new in box. Never cut, never carried. Good to go. That's going to be available. Why did I put it back in here? I need to take a group photo of it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Can we get the rest of these? Yeah. There's only a few more. Let's see. Put the box away, Tom. Next is another Hoback. But this one is an absolute ridiculous beast of a knife. Okay, hold on. Let me get this out of the way because I'm knocked into some stuff. What 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 even is this? This is the Hoback Husky. Mama call, Mama doesn't say I'm fat. Mama says I'm husky. Yeah, this is a uh, holy sh Nikes. This is the biggest. This is probably the biggest knife I've ever handled. 
uh, not in length, but as far as like overall thickness, girth. It's not about the length, it's about the girth. Uh, yeah, frame lock, <sighs> titanium. Uh, this is, yeah, I don't even know. What is, what is the blade steel on this? Don't know, couldn't tell you, but it is in A plus condition. Uh, I think this thing weighs like over 10 ounces. No. Close to it. Let's compare this to a regular thickness hinderer. Yeah! It chonky. This is the fatty hinderer. Yeah. Okay. So this thing is an absolute monster. Lips good. Guillotine shot. Let's see if we could use these uh these fullers. Oh yeah, it'll flick on the fullers. Uh if you're looking for a beast, uh yeah, this is uh this is available. Lanyard clip. Uh blade stock is uh I think a slightly shaved down manhole cover. If you're looking for a tank, this is available. The whole back husky. Uh, then we got some damn designs. This one is the Dijin, Jin, XL, TI, and Black. Time check, 326. We got four minutes. Can we do it? Am I going to be late to my meeting? Who knows? So this is the Jin. Oh, I suck at fl front flippers, but that was uh, that was pretty good. So yeah, new in box, like new in box. There you go. It's got the black handles, the stone wash blade, frame lock, butter, butter, butter. Yeah, I suck at uh, I suck at front flippers, but this is simple. So that is the damned designs, damned designs, Jin, the Jin, Jin. Okay. All right. There it is. Like new in box, will be available for purchase. Then we got the damned designs. Oni XL in Stonewash. Again, <clears throat> like new in box. Another cut, never carried. Come on, Tom. Get your hand off the lock bar. There we go. So this is the Oni. Tonto blade shape, a little different. Again, new in box, never cut, never carried. Stonewash TI scales S35VN frame lock, super snappy, super smooth. Good to go if you're into front flippers. This is an affordable one and very, very nice. All right, so that's the damn designs only. Two more to go, guys. Two more to go. This is the big item for this drop. This is the Shirogoroff Knives uh, Quantum M390. So, all right, that was another alarm, and I have a meeting in one minute. So, whatever. So, this is the Shirogoroff Knives Quantum. Comes with everything because it's like new in box quantum m390 bronze titanium multi-role bearing systems top of the line this is the first generation quantum uh it is like new in box bronze anno titanium 
with a raw TI backspacer, raw TI clip, and the hardware, of course. This is this is a nice knife. If you know me, I'm a Shiro fan. M390, brand new. Multi-row bearing system. Quantum by Shirogorov Knives. Like new in box. All right. There's that. And last but not least, we have a Lynch Northwest uh, IWK 1.0. In without knocking, I think it's called. There we go. There we go. Stick around for details because I'm going to let you know when these are going to go up for sale. Lynch Northwest. Beep, bop, boop. Has the uh, COA in there. Lanyard. Uh, Keychain. Tab. And then the goods are right here. So this is a big Mama Jamma. Very uh, on the large side, pry tool. It's got his deep carry pocket clip, lanyard loop, holes. Uh, very nice machining. Very nice anodizing on the accents. This is the IWK 1.0 Lynch Northwest titanium pry tool. All right, guys, so that is everything. Um, this sale is going to go live on my Instagram at the casual cutter. Uh, let's say Friday at, I think I already mentioned this, Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern, which is 5 Pacific. Um, and I will be able to ship next, next day if you purchase that night. Um, Otherwise, next shipping day will be Monday. So, yeah, this is uh, this is everything for this round that is available. Um, you'll be able to purchase when the listing goes live. Uh, I have very limited time during the week and the weekend. So, um, you know, this is just to give you a preview of what's, what's available and then keep an eye out on my Instagram. All the details will be listed, all the prices and, uh, you just YOLO what you want there and, uh, it's yours. So, um, yeah, when you see that post go up, Comment with uh, what you'll take and then shoot me a DM with your shipping info and uh, uh, we'll get it done. I appreciate you sticking around and dealing with my alarms going off during this thing. But yeah, anyway, got to go to a meeting that I'm three minutes late for. All right, guys, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.